the technology that makes anything manifest in the earth is that the spirit and the bride say come strength capacity it happens through the place of prayer somebody went to visit smith wigglesworth years ago his story would tell us that when the guy got there he greeted him and he kept quiet and there was nothing to discuss then smith wigglesworth told him he said can we pray he thought he was just you know father lord we thank you they prayed and the guy was tired he didn't know how to stop smith wigglesworth then later he stopped then they spoke a little we said can we pray again and <laughs> A powerful way to drive distractors. Pray. Pray. When visitors come to your house and they refuse to leave, pray. Survival strategies. Pray. Tell them, all right, we've spent two hours just in, I think it's time. Let's lift up our hands and give God praise. And everybody will check their time and leave you in peace. Pray. Because people don't like prayer. They like what prayer does. But they hate the discipline of prayer. And it's an attack. Please hear me. If you hate prayer, it's an attack. Don't feel condemned. But know it's an attack. You wake up in the night. Open up your notebook where God has spoken to you. Shama katabarata sleepy eyes your tired self just start praying Shabrando's Kadiata. worship is charging the atmosphere you are a man of God you don't even know what to do with your church you've preached every sermon you just keep praying as you keep praying the Spirit of God who can search the heart of the Father will start downloading series to your spirit you have not taught your people on prayer you have not taught you and series can come that can last two years in the place of prayer every time is convenient for prayer but in my personal experience believe me I have mastered praying at night and it, it has provided the richest return on investment in terms of prayer discipline yourself and pray you're a man of God here with all due respect. Don't let your members pray more than you. Why are they there then? You should be sitting down. Prayer is one of such things you cannot fake. You can come out and act like you are prayerful. If you are not, there is an energy that comes from prayer. That one you cannot pretend it. And the energy is perceivable. Even to somebody who is not saved, you can perceive health. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Listen, the moment seasons become unfavorable, minimize discussions, minimize attracting sympathy, that is the time to lock yourself. Even if you don't understand what is happening, why are people dying in my church? In three weeks, 10 people died. Go and lock your place. Five of my children, mysteriously sick. When they made a deposit of 10 million, somebody just came and caused trouble and that money disappeared. Anytime you sense affliction, negative seasons, go ahead and pray. If most believers will do less of talking and more of prayer, they will triumph in experience. We talk a lot as believers. We have not been called to be noisemakers in terms of speaking gibberish. The energy of the believer should be invested in building capacity. Let me teach you something. If you are a leader and you talk too much, you will lose your honor factor. As a leader, your word should be mighty. The more scarce your word, the more people will listen when you speak. When you run your mouth anyhow, you also run your honor out with it. A time will come, your words will be so cheap, there will be nobody around you to hear it. Words are expensive. Don't waste them. Don't waste them. Don't waste them. Leadership 101. Words are expensive. Can I tell you another thing that is expensive? Your attention. 
don't cheapen your attention attention is an expensive commodity don't invest it in nonsense did you hear what i said your attention is where the direction of your destiny goes to respect your destiny enough to see your attention as an investment don't throw it away over nothing oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me spirit of wisdom say in the name of Jesus I build capacity say it prophetically in the name of Jesus I build capacity oh my dear sister build capacity my dear brother build capacity a day will come something will befall you that you will not have all that energy to pray you will draw from the residue of the energy that comes within your prayer bank please pray don't waste moments don't waste opportunities pray discern an attack on your prayer is an attack on your remaining it's an attack on your continuity it's an attack on your stamina that is why it's important to have believers as friends did you hear what I said half the time people used to gossip half the time people used to talk about people and issues if they invest half that time in quality prayer you have any prayer partner that spends half the prayer time gossiping cast him out of your life did you hear what I said cast him or her out of your life don't waste your time on naysayers and gossips and backbiters who wrap up their gossip in the name of Jesus take your destiny seriously you agree with someone let us pray don't waste your time and he says praise God you pray for 10 minutes and you continue speaking nonsense for two hours then you wrap it up you did not pray you only program woes to your destiny if you have somebody who should pray the assignment there is for prayer okay we are praying from 10 to 12 once it's time all right let's begin to pray yes occasionally you may speak to discuss some things to give your prayer perspective many prayer warriors have killed the prayer life of their colleagues because they wasted that time on gossips and naysayings and false visions pray 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 you are a mother find another mother who can agree with you pray you are a businessman find another businessman who can relate with your realm and pray are we together you are a man of God pray that God will bring a man of God who genuinely loves you and prays not that he's praying with his mouth and with his heart he's saying may you die quick But when you find people who can agree with you you have your personal prayer altar i have said this endlessly koinonia let me encourage families here build your corporate family prayer altar build it as a discipline now i know that maybe some families may have people who are not born again no problem you can start where you are with wisdom build a family prayer altar pray don't allow the devil come in and ride cheaply into your family by the privilege of God's grace, let me encourage every man here. Take the lead as far as setting the pace for prayer. Don't say I'm not the prayer type. Nobody's the prayer type. God commands that we pray. Are we together now? Obtain grace. Don't say I'm a CEO. Prayer is not for pastors. Don't leave your wife as a naked intercessor with nobody helping her. Yours is just to submit prayer point by text or on a paper. Pray. You can learn prayer. Is someone learning? Build inner strength. This is something God has taught me. One of our fathers in the faith. Every time I've had the opportunity to see him, particularly when preparing for administration, as soon as I enter his office, he's praying in tongues. Praying in tongues. Praying in tongues. Praying in tongues. He will speak a little and then once he has a little chance, he's praying in tongues. I said, ah, that's the secret. 
they understand that capacity is a necessary is a necessary requirement as far as remaining is concerned i want to make an altar call right now calling two people in one number one those who are saying i truly need jesus in a hurry and right now and then those who are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to christ it doesn't matter what is right or wrong in your life when you come to him you will in no wise cast away please lift your right hand with me as a sign of surrender to this jesus and say after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i'm a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your lovely hands father we thank you please keep lifting them as i pray for you your word declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these precious ones have come declaring your lordship over their lives and in the name of jesus i pray that based on the authority of god's word i declare your sins forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god i declare that you will go from glory to glory and grace to grace that everything that is not of god it must give way in the name of jesus christ you are empowered by the spirit the same spirit that raised christ from the dead that same spirit empowers you to live a victorious life in the name of jesus go from glory to glory for in jesus mighty name i pray amen and amen